Hi! The skill that we're about to perform is feeding, and as you notice, our resident is in a chair. If they are in the bed, you make sure that bed is elevated at 90 degrees to prevent any choking. And as we continue the skill, you'll see how we, re we rectify the slouching of this resident too as well. We'll get started with any other skill. We get started with quippers. So here we go. Hi, Mr. Smith. My name is Pam. I'm going to be your Cena today. We have your breakfast. Are you hungry? Good. I'm glad to hear it. Let me wash my hands and go get your food, and I'll be right back. At this point, go wash your hands. Here you go, Mr. Smith. Let's put this down here and get you situated. I'm just going to lay this right here real quick because I want to straighten you up. You're slouched and I don't want you to choke. But you can help me if you can just sit up just a little bit. There you go. And then on three together, we'll scoot you back. So push with your feet. One, two, three. There you go. Okay, are you situated? Are you comfortable? Let's put this hand right here. How's that other arm doing? There you go. Alright, so let's go ahead and put this clothing protector on you and this will prevent you from us making any mistakes on your clothes, any spill. Okay, go ahead and slip your table right over. Pull up your chair. You must be sitting down to assist a resident in eating, regardless if it's in the room or in the dining room. Prepare their stuff. Open up their stuff. As you notice here, I've got a spoon. Anytime that you are presenting a utensil to anybody's face, it must be with a spoon. Okay, Mr. Smith, let's go ahead and take a drink first. By offering him a drink, we'll moisten their mouth and also assist with um, swallowing. Okay, here we go, Mr. Smith. Let's go ahead and take this bite that you're putting. How does that taste? When you're feeding, make sure that you're giving them enough time to swallow, that they're not pocketing the food but in their cheeks. How's that? And after about three or four bites, offering something more to drink. Is that good? One more? Okay. How's that? All right, let's give you another bite. No? Well, can I get you just to take one more bite for me? Then one more drink and we'll call it quits. Good, all right, here you go. When the resident tells you no, make sure that you encourage to take one more bite. No doesn't necessarily mean that they're done eating. No could mean too fast, too slow. You need to take a breath but you need to encourage that one last bite. Okay. Can I offer you anything else? Oh, one more drink? Wonderful. Let's go ahead. Wipe his mouth off. I like to make a correction though. I brought in the washcloth to wash their, their hands. It's important that you wash their hands before they eat, even if you are the one who's assisting them in feeding. Okay? So, let's do it. There you go. All right, Mr. Smith, we are done. Okay, are you full? Can I get you anything else? What I'm going to do is let's get you covered up. Are you warm enough? There's your call light. Now notice this person has an arm, okay, that uh, is injured or unable to use it. 
So just because the call light is right there next to them doesn't necessarily mean they can reach it. It's your responsibility to move it so they can. Mr. Smith, I'm going to go ahead and put this call light right here so you can go ahead and reach that and call me if you need me. And at this particular time, you clean up your area, you take care of your food, you quip her out, you make sure the bed is in low, the call light, things are put away, and like with any skill, you wash your hands. Now, also with feeding, feeding requires documentation. How much did they eat? Did they eat 25%, 50%, or maybe even 100%? You need to make sure that you relay that information. So, that is feeding. Thanks.